Yo, what up, what up, it's the kid CJ City. You already know what it is, CJ City TV. So we back with another sneaker review. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the white cement Jordan 5s. This is a brand new colorway. This is fire, if you ask me. Before we get started, gotta let everybody know to subscribe to this channel. Make sure you guys hit that bell right there. Turn on those notifications so you guys can get an email alert every single time I upload brand new sneaker content. You're not gonna wanna miss a thing. I'm basically getting all of these sneakers and I'm going Going to be doing a detailed review on foots all that good stuff man but with no further ado let's just take a look at these sneakers right here what we have is your jordan 5 this is your typical jordan 5 box right here we have that speckle print running along the entire side the entire box as well red jump man up there on top but uh yeah man let's just get right into these shoes and first and foremost i must say that um i'm feeling this i typically do not feel when they take an old school concept and they place it on a brand new sneaker for instance they're doing the cool gray eights i already saw the cool gray eights in person and i'm not feeling it man the cool gray should have just stuck with the nines and the elevens and actually they have with the fours but don't try to bring those back and, and put it like a, a cool gray you know jordan three or a cool gray uh a jordan 10 or something like actually a cool gray jordan 10 might be fire but i typically typically don't like it man um the, the way that they did it on these sneakers is perfect it's perfect though it's perfection the color placements on here are perfect you know they could have easily screwed this all up they could have made like an all red tongue or an all gray tongue and they could have put like some red teeth right there or you know they could have just grayed this entire uh midsole out but i love the fact that we have the cement print right there that's in gray we have our black speckles the the uh, shark teeth is white we have we have our hits of red perfectly placed on this sneaker i just feel like there's nothing wrong with this shoe at all i definitely feel this i, I want to double up on these i don't have the cement threes i don't have the cement fours so these will definitely have to do until i can get my hands on a fresh pair of those man but uh yeah with no further ado let's just take a look at all of the details here i'll go ahead and give you guys a close-up as you guys can see man first of all we have that all white leather right here it's not a premium leather we could have got a, a better leather if you ask me it's not super tumble i wish we could have got like a plush leather kind of like those jordan threes but this is more so like the leather that was on the jordan fours so we have uh you know the leather is okay on there it comes in all white we also have our all white netting on here it's a little different we don't have a clear netting so i'm curious to know if this is going to turn pissy yellow or is it just going to get dirty and you could clean that right up man so you know that's just an interesting fact on here like like I said, we have our gray midsole right there with our black speckle, that cement, that cement print right there. And then we also have a black running along the side of the midsole as well. We also have those hits of gray and those uh, speckles right there on these little eyelets on the side. I'll go ahead and give you guys a look at the flip side right there. You guys could see we had a speckle on the eyelet right there, more of that leather. And then we have the cement print, and the speckle on the bottom there as well. So I'm definitely feeling that I'm, I'm definitely feeling the placement of the colors let's just go ahead and take a look at the back we have this red jump man right here as you guys can see and like i said i just feel like all of the color placements were perfect i love the fact that that is red man i, I don't like the fact that you know it would be black i like the fact it's red so let's just go ahead and take a look at this tongue right here we got more of that red right there you know that's just a perfect color man it just complements the inside of this tongue that's going to be all red they didn't make that black so like i said man all of the color placements on here were perfect i don't know who designed this particular sneaker but it's a one thumbs up all the way i'm feeling this sneaker tell me what you guys think man oh yeah let's just go ahead and take a look at the bottom we have that clear icy sole right there Let's just take a look at that. Bang, bang. We have our red jump man there. Then we have our black stripe in the middle with our Jordan branding as usual. So uh, like I said, man, this is set to drop next week. This is fire, man. I give this sneaker probably a nine, 9.5 out of 10. The only thing that's missing is that premium leather right here. If we could just have a better leather, maybe more tumble, maybe more soft. I would have gave this a 10 out of 10. 
definitely man so uh drop those comments down below let me know what you guys are feeling about these sneakers do you plan on copying or not you know if you guys got a little bit of patience i'm pretty sure you could get these sneakers on sale i don't think they're gonna sell out they're probably gonna mark them down like they have been doing all the other jordans and you also you might be able to find like a 20 25 percent discount on foot action on east bay or something like that so you'll probably be, be able to find a really good deal on this if you're just a little patient but you know if you want to run out and you want to get it on the release day hey man i can't say nothing because these sneakers are definitely fire i want to double up on it myself man but that pretty much wraps things up on this review like i said drop those comments down below also let me know what you guys are feeling about them taking an old school concept and putting them on like a brand new sneaker like for instance like let's just say they did a cement nine or something like that or a, a white cement 10 or a black cement 10 or something like that how do you guys feel about them taking those and putting them on brand new sneakers me so far you know i'm feeling this but sometimes i just think those old school you know uh colorways should just be left on the sneaker that it came out with for instance, like I said, those cool gray eights are just not fire to me, man. So I don't know, man. But drop those comments. Let me know what you guys think. Also, get this in your head, man. I just really want to get this out there. I really want to brand myself as the dude who got all the sneakers and the dude that's going to be reviewing all the sneakers. I'm telling you, I have been blessed this year, bro. And if it's a sneaker releasing, chances are I'm going to be doing an on foot or I'm going to be doing a brand new review. So make sure you guys come over to CJ City TV every single time a sneaker drops because chances are i'm going to have it early i'm going to have it on the day of or i'll probably upload it a couple of days after but i'm going to have the sneaker and i'm going to re review it for you guys man that's just a treat for everybody out there you guys been rocking with me so it's time that i go ahead and step it up i appreciate all the love but until next time i'm signing out you already know what it is cj city tv peace